Hello, my name is uh, Imad Absa. I'm a pediatric gastroenterologist at the Mayo Clinic uh, campus in Rochester, Minnesota. I have a special interest in managing patients with celiac disease and uh, gluten-related disorders. The management of uh, celiac disease is uh, complete elimination of gluten from the diet. Um, the definition of complete elimination is less than 10 parts per million, which is simply no gluten exposure whatsoever. And that is a lifelong commitment as far as we can tell. There is no other therapies. There are um, few uh, trials about different ways of treating gluten, but as far as now, the only other option of treatment is gluten-free diet. Now, gluten-free diet is a major change in lifestyle that would affect the patient and other family members. Gluten-free products usually are uh, more expensive than regular um, food products. It will be um, having some effect on the social uh, aspect of the patient, especially children's life when they go to uh, social activities like sport-related activities, birthdays, or at school. And having an experienced nurse or an ex experienced uh, center with, uh, with expertise in managing celiac disease, including an experienced dietitian, will help the family navigate through these tough times and help them adjust to the new change, which is a major change. A gluten-free diet is becoming a trend. Many patients who don't have celiac are on a gluten-free diet for multiple reasons, um, including uh, trying to lose weight, a thought of a healthier diet, or for gluten intolerance that is non-celiac disease. And in, in these cases, it's a personal choice, um, and we should just identify the fact that a glu long-term gluten-free diet may predispose uh, uh, the, the patient to low fiber and consumption. Long-term gluten-free diet would require some multivitamin supplements, specifically B vitamins. And the gluten-free diet also would uh, result in more consumption of different grains, specifically rice. And there is some data concerning the heavy metals presence in, in, in rice when you're substituting for long-term or with the gluten-free diet. The data as far say that there is some mild increment in the levels, but none into a toxic level. So at this point, there is no reason to be worried about it, but that's another long-term concern that we should keep thinking. If you don't have to be on a celiac or a gluten-free diet, sorry, you don't have to be. And then finally, most of the products that are gluten-free have a higher glycemic index. So in long-term, if you're not watching your diet, you're not he eating healthier choices, vegetables and fruits, then you may start gaining weight on the gluten-free diet because most of the gluten-free products processed are higher in the glycemic index.